Hello everyone! Welcome back to our class. Today, we'll have another lesson to learn and this is all about the types of verbs. What is a verb? Verb is a word used to describe an action, state, or occurrence and forming the main part of the predicate of a sentence such as here, become, happen. There are three types of verbs and let's begin with the first one. And this is the action verb. Action verb shows an action or a movement. Example, give, gave, giving, walk, walked, walking, jump, jumped, jumping, sing, sang, singing. Remember that all words that show movement or action are action verbs. Let's take a look at these examples. She ate dinner last night at 6. I watched the Titanic last December. John visited his friend last week. The underlined words ate, watched, and visited are action words. There was an action or movement that happened. She ate dinner. I watched the Titanic. John visited his friend. Second type of verb is the linking verb. It connects a subject to each adjective or predicate in a sentence. It does not indicate any action or movement. This type of verb only connects. No action nor movement is happening. Example, the linking verb am. I am left-handed. The underlined word which is am is the linking verb. It connects the subject I and the adjective left-handed. We cannot directly say I left-handed. No, it's wrong. So, we need to put the appropriate linking verb which is am to connect our subject I and the adjective left-handed to make the sentence correct. So, it now becomes I am left-handed. Again, there's no action nor movement happened in this sentence. It's just implying or simply saying that I am left-handed. Linking verbs also include the verb be. This verb has eight different forms and these are am, be, is, are, was, were, being, and been. Example, I am excited. We use am when we talk about myself or I. This sentence, I am excited, talks about me. Remember, we use am only when we talk about I. Another example of be verbs are the words is if singular and are if plural. Jessica is the class president. Jessica is our subject. Is is our linking verb and class president is our adjective. We cannot just directly say Jessica class president. No, it's wrong. That's why we need to add a linking verb is to make the sentence correct. Also, we used is because we're only talking to one subject which is Jessica. Now, if we're talking two or more persons, we need to use are, just like Jessica and Miko are the class presidents. Now we have two subjects, Jessica and Miko. So, these are just some examples of the be verbs. We will make a separate video for the others. We still have actually some other examples of linking verbs, and most of them are linked to our senses. Examples, smells, looks, tastes, appears, becomes, seems, remains, turns, grows, stays, feels, and proves. Let's have here an example. Your shampoo smells great. 
the one that we are talking about here is shampoo. And our linking verb is the word smells. Linking verb, there is no action nor movement happens. It's just declared that your shampoo smells great. Next, your spaghetti looks delicious. Our linking verb here that connects the subject spaghetti and the adjective delicious is the word looks. The same with our previous example, neither action nor movement is happening. This sentence just simply declared that your spaghetti looks delicious. Let's take a look at these examples. Your shampoo smells great. Jessica smells the freshly baked lasagna. Both sentences have the word smells, but which do you think of this smells is the action verb and which one is the linking verb? In the first sentence, your shampoo smells great, is there any action or movement happened? None, right? It is just saying that your shampoo smells great. No actions nor movements. Therefore, the word smells in the first sentence, your shampoo smells great, is a linking verb. It connects or links the subject shampoo and the adjective great. So the word smells in the second sentence, Jessica smells the freshly baked lasagna, is an action verb. What did Jessica do? She smells the freshly baked lasagna. There's an action that happened. The third type of verb is the helping verb. It is used before an action verb or a linking verb to help convey additional information. These are also called modals. Example, I am watching its showtime. In this example, there's no helping verb yet. The am here is a linking verb, I is a subject, and watching is the action verb. But if the sentence becomes like this, I will watch that it's showtime. I is our subject, watch is our action verb, and will is our helping verb. So we used will before the word watch. As the definition says, it is used before an action verb or a linking verb. This helping verb will says that watch is just going to happen, not yet now, but in the future. Will watch. Another examples of helping verbs are the following, can, could, may, might, must, did, shall, should, will, would, has, have. Alright, so that's it. Now it's time for our knowledge check. Visit the description box below for our short quiz. Type down your answers in the comment box. You may also suggest a topic that we'll try to do a video tutorial next time. Thank you and see you next time. Good luck!